Hi, today's Thursday in 3 is to share with you one of my favorite tools, Google Keep. We've talked about it a couple of times and it's come up a ton in trainings. So Keep is its own inclusive Google tool and you can access it by going to keep.google.com. You can also use um, your 9-pin, your Apps Launcher Waffle, whatever you'd like to call this right here, and go to Google Keep. The basic part of Keep is that you can use it for note taking. So I did that kind of fast there, I'll do it again. So at the top here, you can see you have all these, op you have a search and then you have a place where you can take a note. As soon as you click on it, you get the option to just simply take a post-it note. So you can see that down here I have one where I was just brain brainstorming about some six trait writing examples, things like that. There's so much more though than just this note. The first thing to always do, as you know, is to press the three dots. When I press these three dots, one of my favorite parts of Google Keep comes up, and that is check boxes. So this is a great like um, to-do list option. So thing one, thing two, thing three. The beauty of the check boxes versus a note is that as I complete things and check them off, they don't actually disappear or become deleted. It actually shows what I've done. And if you're a teacher, you know that everything's cyclical. So you'll finish something and before you know it, you have to do that same something again and again and again. So you can actually uncheck it and it goes back on your note. The other great thing about the checkboxes or the to-do list is you can add collaborators just as you can with all Google tools. So if it's a group checklist that you need to get done, you can um, add a collaborator and you guys can do that together. Another great feature just inside the basic Keep tool is the option to add reminders. So if it's a very important thing that you need to do, you can choose a date to, do, to get that completed and it will send you a reminder in your Google Calendar. You could also add in a place. So you can see that's just pretty awesome. Another thing, so again, we're just in the basic Google Keep, is when you take a note, you have the option to add an image. This can be an image from your desktop. It can be an image that you take with your phone because Keep is actually also an app. And you can also just use it as a drawing tool. So if you have an interactive whiteboard and the software is cumbersome, here's an option. And that's today's Thursday in 3, and it's just the very, very, very tip of the iceberg on Google Keep.